What we're doing this time, you're wondering? Well, it's a library. This one's over here. And yes, it's super duper duper easy, but especially besides being super cool, industrial, and gives so much texture and personality to your apartment, it's very thin. So if you do not have a lot of space inside your apartment, but you still want to have your books, your magazine, your plants hanging all over the place, this is the perfect tutorial for you. Let's go and start it immediately. What I got is three plywoods, super thin, so very cheap, that are tall 120 and they are deep 60. Then I got 13 of this little bit thicker, like four centimeters ones, and three of them that are only three centimeters and they're all tall one meter. Guys, we're gonna start with the thicker pieces of wood, the tiny ones, we're not gonna cut them at all. But even for the big ones, I calculated everything to be cutting the less amount of wood possible. So even if you don't have a jigsaw at home and you just have like, one of those things with which you cut with your hands. What is the name? One eternity later. Hansel! If you have a hand sew, you can still do it. It's not gonna take you a lot of time. This is gonna be the base of our shelf and we have to cut them in 25, 25, 25 to make the height of where we want our magazines to be held inside. <clears throat> I meant held. That's the right English word. These ones are long one meter. So if we do them all of 25 centimeters, it got stuck. I was saying, because it's one meter, if we do them all of 25, this means that we're gonna have already four legs, just simply cutting this one. So let's mark 25. I calculated 25 to be the perfect measurement to put magazines inside, but if you wanna put like old records or books, you can calculate it differently. Now take out your jigsaw and cut everything away. Don't forget to unload your weapon. Okay, 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 this is disgusting and I know, but it's not an issue because you just get some sanding paper, fold it teeny tiny, get the top of it, and just sand it a little bit like this. Basically exactly what you're doing with your nails before you put your nail polish. And there we go. Perfect cutting, so smooth. Pull up your pants, cover a little bit of flippy pop before the camera, and then continue sanding away every single piece that you have cut in before. Guys, if you're one of my followers, I just love you and I hope you know that. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. It's so great to have you here. Now that we have the base shelf of where we want to put our magazines, we're also going to cut the top ones where we're going to put all our decorations. So we need three lines of 50 and that's what I'm going to measure now because it's one meter. We're just going to cut it in half. Like always, I tell you the measurements of what I am gonna do, but obviously you're completely flexible. I decided to have on the top two squares, so it's gonna be separate, and I want on one side only one shelf, and on the other side, I want two shelves. And because there is a line already in the middle, this means that every side, instead of being 50 centimeters, it's gonna be 48.63. That's what we're cutting. And this means that day number one, I did absolutely nothing. I worked on it like one hour and then I went to the beach. Who am I lying to? I didn't go anywhere. I just watched YouTube videos. Actually, who are your favorite YouTubers? Put it in the links down below so that I can go and solve them. We are gonna have to screw together all the shapes that we did. So we're gonna connect the super short one to the one meter leg like this on the corners. And we have to pre-screw, not screw, but pre-make the holes on the wood because I learned the lesson, if you put the screws inside before making the hole, the wood is gonna open up in two. I like saving money, but not as much as I like saving time. So to make a perfect hole in two places together, you just place them one on top of the other and you make the hole at the same time. After that, you're just gonna put your screw inside and screw it in. We're gonna do that on every single side. And this is only one of them. We're gonna have to do the same identical thing three times. And now finally, we put the skinny, wood that we showed you at the beginning and screw it in as a closing for the library. We tripled exactly identical thing all the way to the top and now we're gonna have to go and build the top box that I told you is a little bit different. 
To make a box, instead of making only a long leg on the bottom, I did a long leg on the top, a long leg on the bottom, and then two connection stripes on the side. Then I also added one long line in the middle, so to divide the space in two. And on one segment of the wood, I added little strips so that would make three shelves on one side, one big one on the other side. It's cute because you can also put inside paintings instead of furniture or decorations. I thought it was cool. We can now go and mark on the back of the wood so we're not gonna see all the signs that we did where the connection is. In this way, I'm gonna be able to do the holes to screw together the shelf to the back of the wood. Basically, I'm here just positioning the lines of wood that I created and distance them as much as I wanted one from the other and try to calculate where to position them perfectly. And then I signed with a marker the spot where I would have to go and make the holes on the wood so to connect it from the other side. Once you make the drawing and take it away, you will see that on the bottom ones, I'm gonna make the holes exactly where the line is. But on the sides, I will draw it a little bit more external. You cannot make a mark under the wood, so I made it one millimeter more external and then I remembered that with the screwdriver, I would have to go more in. Now guys, I lost some footage. I probably did it to make space to this important video that testifies I did justice. But I'm gonna go and explain now that you have to put the lines of the wood exactly under your hole like you did here but under it so you can do the double hole and screw it together so now that we connected all the shelves together what we've got to do is be sure that this is not going to break into pieces as i told you i bought smaller chunks of wood and i had to connect them it's cheaper and that's why now we're going to use the extra pieces of the wood to connect it in between the junctions of the pieces of wood on the side and here in the middle super short little um, nails, screws, screws, so that we don't see them on the other side, but we can connect it and make it stronger. These screws are a lot shorter than the ones that I used to connect the wood to the shelf. And in this way, even if I'm screwing on the back of it, you're never gonna see the point of the screw on the other side. Then I just go and screw them all inside, secure it all correctly, and you are done. The library is done, and the only thing that you're missing is making some teeny tiny holes on the bottom and on the top in order to screw it to your wall. But as you know, I'm still in Rome at my parents' home and my mom would rather make a hole in my head than let me do a hole in her wall. Hello. Mama, eh. posso fare dei buchi nel tuo muro per appendere una libreria e lasciarti i buchi? Tazza, tazza, tazza. So all we've got to do is style it up and show you the result. My goal was to buy like 30 magazines and put them in the library, but it turns out they're super expensive, so I put only four. And yes, I hung my Dior bag as a painting because it's better than art, especially because it's a DIY. And you can see it in this tutorial over here. 